Maximal Assignment Manager. Not the most popular topic to see a video on, but we're going to take a stab at just a portion of it today. My name is Chris Winston. I'm with Project Tech. I'm using Maximal 7.6.1.1 and Tivoli 09 skin in case you're interested. So, when using a scheduling tool from a third party or from IBM, you may need to have others view availability for assignments. Uh, possibly modify the availability, and that takes place in a lower portion of Assignment Manager, which is delivered out of the box, does not require a scheduling or a third party license to use it. You know, whether you look at a commercial off the shelf or out of the box, whichever term you prefer, or another, you install Maximo core product, it's there. Um, if you just need to view, you can use an express license. If you need to make edits, then you need at least a limited license. And the main point here is that you don't need a third party license for it. If you are um, in need of only the labor, then you are generally ready as soon as you open the application. But as you, as you gain more work orders, you may find it's slow to open when you have a lot of work orders out there, especially if they don't get closed up on a regular basis. Um, so you may want to set up a default query or set one up for those users that need it and then just suppress the work orders at the top of the screen. So let's take a look at that. Uh, let's get into Maximo and here we have Assignment Manager uh, and again just no, no, what doesn't necessarily look like it but it is uh, 7611. So just so you know that. Now in here we have first let's go ahead and let's get some assignments here so let's select the work date of course it's demo data so i need to go back a little bit uh, let's do i think that's got work and let's just take a look at just a small number of the people that are there. There, we got some red stuff here. But we still got a bunch of work orders up here. So the main thing is what you want to do is just get a query built. And I'm just going to say our work order number is null, which should result in, hmm. And corner number is null. Yeah, rookies. That's better. And save it. Uh, no work. And make it my default. Hit OK. So when I go back to Start Center, I guess I could just relaunch the application. And let's do assignment. There it is. When I open it, opens pretty quickly because there's no work orders. Then I can go ahead, grab my work date. Um, I can pick a labor query. So I'm just looking at the people I need to look at. And I've got my information. If I want to look at you know, assignments for that day, I can see them directly. I need to modify availability for that individual, I can do that as well. Main point here is that from this display, I can see more than one labor record and uh, I can see assignments. Uh, if, I, if I have to deal with this um, somewhere else, it just becomes more complicated, especially if I, if I need to modify availability for more than one individual or even look at their availability. Uh, that becomes more complicated. This is the best place to actually do that. So just informational for you. Hope that helps. Have a good day.